Thank you, Jen. First, does the president agree with Dr. Fauci that it's too soon to tell if people are going to be able to gather for Christmas? Well, the president relies on CDC guidelines, uh, and they have not changed their guidelines about who can gather together, those who are vaccinated. Uh, but we leave it to them if they need to change their guidelines based on where the pandemic sits. Thank you. Uh, following up on something that you just said, you said that the president's going to have a virtual meeting with House progressives to talk about how this Build Back Better package is now going to be smaller than three and a half trillion dollars. But you have been saying that it costs zero. So are you now admitting that the plan does not cost zero? Or is it less than zero? Well, let's, let's not dumb this down for the American public here. What we're talking about is uh, how much the top line investments are, which are all paid for, so therefore it costs zero. No matter what the cost or size of the top line investments are, we have ways to pay for it. So the point is, that's important to the American public, all of your viewers too, is that this is not going to cost the American public a dollar. This is going to, we're going to pay for this by asking corporations the highest income, so people under $400,000, I should say, corporations highest income to cover the cost of these necessary investments. So just to not dumb it down then, does the plan cost nothing or is the plan free? The plan costs nothing for the American people who make less than $400,000. If you think that that companies that paid zero in taxes last year, uh, 50 of the top companies should continue to pay zero in taxes, we're happy to have that and debate. And just one more, uh, Jen, thank you. Uh, a group of activists followed Senator Kirsten Sinema into a ladies' room screaming about the Build Back Better plan yesterday. The president said today, I don't think they're appropriate tactics, but... It happens to everybody, and it's part of the process. He is an expert on the process. Has he ever been chased into a restroom by well, activists? Well, let, let me be clear here, because I think the context of what happened here is very important. Um, and Senator Sinema put out a statement this morning. So as she said, and I would reiterate from here, the protection of the freedom to protest, to speak out, and to criticize is fundamental to our democracy. The president believes that. Maybe he shorthanded it, but he wanted to make that clear this morning. What happened this weekend was that her classroom, her students, uh, and, and the safe and intellectually stimulating environment she's worked to create during the years she's te of teaching at, at ASU were, was breached. That's inappropriate and unacceptable. And I think the context of what happened here is important, despite the fact that, of course, we stand for, the president stands for, the fundamental right of people to protest, to object, to criticize, uh, as they often do outside of the gates of the White House. So does the White House condemn these protesters who chased her into the rest? I just said it was inappropriate and unacceptable. We'll, I think that we'll pretty much... not to do that again. I think that's pretty clear, that they shouldn't uh, they shouldn't uh, uh, breach the, the classroom and make the students students feel like their privacy, their intellectually stimulating classroom, uh, and their time as students in college is being uh, broached upon. Jen, Go ahead. 